Today I will show you how to receive webhooks deliveries in your application on localhost in two minutes. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to the first episode of the new two minutes series. I'm so excited for this. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept or showcase a product or service or yet teach you something and all in just two minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully at least. Before we start, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Just click on the subscribe button below right now and turn on the notifications so you will not miss any new videos in this series. Also, this is probably the last time you see this set behind me because I'm going to receive soon some new furniture. Stay tuned for that. Today we talk about Zmi.io and how we can use it for debugging, testing, and receiving webhooks on localhost in our applications. So let's start the clock and get into it. What is Mi.io? Well, if you're developing an application that needs somehow to receive or respond to webhooks deliveries, you need a way to have actually those events and deliveries received on your localhost. So you need a way to expose somehow your localhost to the internet. Zmi.io helps you with that proxying payloads from the webhook source and then transmitting them to your locally running application. You just have to tell your webhook source to send the payloads to your Zmi.io channel. And then you can either use the Zmi client to consume that, or if you're using Probot to develop a GitHub app, you can use that as well. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Probot, consider subscribing and stick around because I will have a new video on that coming out soon. Right, let's see how it works. Of course, first thing to do is go into this Mi.io website and create a new channel using this button here. And this will create this new unique URL for you, which is basically the URL you should configure in your webhook source. In this page, we also have some information on how to use the Zmi client. And as you can see here, this comes in a form of an NPM global package, and you can use it in two different ways. You can either use it as a standalone tool, or if we scroll down here, you have the code to integrate it in your Node.js application if you have one. In my case, I already have it installed. I will just grab this, which already includes my URL, copy and move to the terminal. The only thing I have to do here is actually starting this. It will create a bridge from my localhost on the port 3000 to the proxy, if you will, that Zmi.io generates. Now we need to generate a webhook. For this example, I'm going to use GitHub as a webhook source, but of course you can use any webhook source you want or you have in your environment. Let's use the URL that Zmi.io generated for us before and scrolling down, select send me everything. Let's add. And here we have our webhook. If we go back to Zmi.io, we can see here that we've already received the webhook delivery for the ping from GitHub. Let's go back to GitHub and for example, let's open an issue. Let's call it issue for Mi.io and create it. Let's go back to Mi.io. And as you can see here, we have the issue. Of course, we can also see the payload of the event. Just clicking on the ellipses here. It could use a little formatting, but hey, this is free. And now if we go back to the terminal, you can see that it has received the event as well. Obviously, I do not have any application running on my machine and listening on the port 3000 right now for webhooks deliveries. And this is the reason why the local delivery failed. But I guess you got the concept. As you've seen before, we started the standalone client with this command, which automatically uses the default port, which is the 3000. But what if your application wants to listen to another port? Or if you just don't listen to the root of your application, but to a different path? Well, you can launch the SME client with your settings, as you can see here. With this syntax, you have, of course, the SMEIO URL that is generated for you, but then you can specify a different port, in this case, the 123, and with the uppercase P, you can specify a different path for your application. Last thing, a pro tip. If you launch the client using the SME.io slash new as URL, you don't even have to go on the website and create a new channel because the client will do that for you. Cool, right? All right, that's it for today. I think I stayed within the two minutes limit. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below. Subscribe if you aren't already. 
and I see you on the next video here at Coder Daily.